we're here in the dyno where we actually test all the, the engines and the stuff and the, this is a pretty interesting setup which is one of the nicest engines available for drag racing nowadays. It's a, the Proline Hemi one with the Pro Charger on and we have the, our state-of-the-art uh, EFI system on it. It's pretty much the FT600 and this is something interesting. This is the actual computer. This is the whole computer, not only the display, not only the programmer, it's the actual computer. So you see the harness coming out from here and going all the way to the engine and wiring directly to the sensors and uh, all the in other products we have running. So with this product we, can, we are able to run any combination from a street car, four cylinder or even a bike to a 16 injector setup like this on a V8. So we have all the, hard, all the products that are, able, that are needed to actually run this engine, including the new ignition box that we just released about a year ago, uh, which is the FT Spark. So it's wired right here and it is connected to the individual coils, which are, are directly firing each cylinder without a distributor. So this is a pretty uh, new for some of those engines like alcohol. Uh, pretty much very few of them were using, not using a mag and this is something we've been developing to have a product that is very capable of firing up this engine and uh, an alcohol setup properly with all the diagnostics that is needed to have. So it's a nice setup that we have here. Uh, we've been using a lot of sensors. You can add the computer, the FuTech FT600 can also add a bunch of other sensors including intake air temperature to monitor like how hot those air, the air comes in. Even also, uh, not talking simple stuff like oil pressure, fuel pressure, uh, and then we can go for even for chassis stuff we, which control, which can be read it on a car like suspension travel sensor, a lot of wheel speed drive shaft sensor, that those are possible to just wire up to the FT600. In this setup, we are using the 16 injectors uh, with individual uh, tables for primary and secondary which gives us a lot of room for tuning because you can stage them properly by having two complete, completely separate uh, stages or tables that you can actually have the primary injectors running the, up to certain boost and, or, and then actually really uh, run, start running smoothly the secondaries. So this sounds like um, a small feature, a small difference but that actually it has a duplicated primer, uh, primary and secondary table which makes much more precise how you actually tune the engine. What we are doing here on the dyno mostly lately was actually looking for the data, EGTs and all this stuff and see how the, all the cylinders behave and actually keep tracking or finding the perfect tune for each cylinder because you don't tune like the engine at all, you, uh, you have to tune each cylinder individually and that, that sometimes you, need, you, you look for the spark plugs you look for the EGTs, you look for the data, you look for all the, the signals that the engine can, can give you. And once you have all the engine squared down, squared, and the, the, the EGTs or the, the, the spark plugs looking good, then you, are, you know you're safe to rise the, or the RPM and find some better numbers. We're very happy about the results here in the dyno. Engine made over 3000 horsepower uh, on a safe condition. We know once this engine it will be sitting on a car with a proper intake uh, and uh, 200 mile per hour air in the front it's going to build some more boost and then we're definitely going a few hundred horsepower more than we we're actually getting here uh, the data logging was being awesome i mean all the, the the capabilities are what we have on the ft600 being very helpful to get uh, proper numbers we have the alcohol 2 sensors being read on the alcohol 2 uh, conditioner from fuel so it's being very easy and safe to actually run the engine and test whatever you want to test and configure like the best setup. And once it's ready here, now next step is on the car and see how it goes on the track.